Hey guys, it's Sean again. Welcome back to my shop. Uh, since the last shop talk that I did, I've done several projects within the shop. The patio table was the last build project that I did. Uh, I haven't done anything to that. The Lazy Susan is still warped on one side and I think I'm just going to take the Lazy Susan off the bottom and do something else with that. I have done several things in here that I want to show you guys. I've got uh, Jay's uh, over the garage door storage solution. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed you but I've also incorporated Dima had suggested adding a piece of wood under the lumber rack. You can add a piece of wood under the supports to add more places to stick wood. Uh, and that's what I did on several of the uh, supports that I've got over here and I'll show you that. Um, I did move my lathe, I moved the bandsaw. I've decided the cleat system, the French cleat system is not for me. I, I'll show you what I did to that. Let me show you around what I've done so far. Okay, so the first thing that I did was this over the garage storage solution, thanks to Jay Bates' uh, idea. I just copied exactly what he did and it's working out great. Let me show you what Dima suggested. Dima suggested just putting a piece of wood up under these supports. Good idea, Dima. If you guys remember the shop tour, and I will uh, post a link to that in case you missed it, but the lathe used to sit right here in this general area and I removed it and I built this small table here and and you know just put the lathe on it it was kind of a wasted area so i thought i would utilize it and i'm not a big turner uh, i don't have much experience so this area over here is just kind of thrown together i'm not really sure what i'm going to do with this yet some of the stuff that i access all the time Instead of building holders for these, I just drill, I, I just screwed these things straight to the wall. I did want to incorporate Jay's uh, drill charging station, but it wouldn't, I didn't have a place for it in my shop. So I just kind of went off his idea and just built my own little, little rack system here. And then this used to be French cleats and I, it did not work out for me. I just, I didn't see where I gained any more room or a, you know any benefit of having um, the option of moving things around because you were limited on where you could move it without it overlapping with the next tool down. So I put up these fence panels to kind of get a little, give a little decorative look and then build these little custom tool holders. And if you want to move it, unscrew it and screw it where you want it. So that's my thinking. So for right now, this is what I'm going with, and I like it so far. So my in-laws live on the coast and when Hurricane Katrina came through, I guess the government or FEMA or somebody passed out uh, gift cards to Lowe's and they were to go buy um, saws or whatever they needed or, you know, I don't, I don't know what they were supposed to, to use it on, but my father-in-law bought this uh, Makita Leave me a comment if you guys have used one of these before and what is the, the difference in this and a regular circular saw and what, what's the advantage of having this. All right guys, I appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, comment, like, and share. All those things help, like everybody else says, uh, in more ways than one it helps. So thank you for watching.